All right, KMR, Kyle Mohan Racing. And uh, we've got some really unique, lightweight, multi-piece, uh, multi-metal rotors that Mazda Tricks was nice enough to finally let me talk about. And I was actually part of the development of these rotors about 10 years ago. Uh, the owner of Mazda Tricks is the one who really pioneered this particular work. Um, there were some other employees at the shop and obviously a designer and engineer that was also involved. And uh, if you really like what you're seeing here, make sure to check this video out and the upcoming videos because this was just the starting point of what Mazda Tricks did in trying to develop potentially some of the lightest rotors on the market. And uh, as you can see, what was done is uh, we took an OEM rotor, which obviously they are lightened by other companies. We even offer lightening at Mazda Tricks. It's usually just pocket lightening. Um, Racing Beat has done internal lightening, but nothing ever this aggressive. And our goal was to try to cut the entire face out of both sides and then lock the faces back in so you could actually run aluminum face plates or some other type of metal that was a lot lighter than the cast material used by Mazda and instead of just pocketing changing out this material to aluminum creating a uh, twin metal rotor uh, allowed for significant weight droppings. Uh, not only were you cutting the face off, <clears throat> but it made it a lot easier to do any type of internal lightening on the webbing. And then if you really start to think about it, you don't need as much internal strength if you're cutting the rotating mass significantly down. Um, and this was a way to do testing on extremely light rotors and the co concepts of using multi-materials in rotors. Um, so this was really just the beginning of Mazda Tricks playing with these ideas. And some of the things we learned was it seemed very possible. Um, and then obviously the tolerances and locking and metallurgy, the expansion between the components, is all playing a part in the design, the fitment, uh, press fitment, and sizing. And then also obviously your side seals are a very important tolerance, and we'll get into that more later on. But this allowed us to use Mazda specs on our side seals, corner seals, apex seals. It allowed us to maintain the OEM gear and bearing press. It allowed us to maintain a lot of the internal capacity uh, regarding that design from Mazda. Um, but it allowed us to drop weight significantly. Um, in the end, <clears throat> we never brought this uh, rotor or this design out to the public. Uh, we ended up continuing this evolution into a titanium rotor that was a complete custom casting. casting. Um, there are some pictures of those rotors floating around and I'll do another video talking about those next. But I think I wanted to share this. Uh, Mazda Tricks kind of kept it close to them for a long time. Um, although they did have them on the front counter occasionally if you walked in, and they did go to some of the seven stock shows with these. So if you saw them, Dave at Mazda Tricks usually was willing to talk about them. Um, but he did want me to mention that no, these rotors are not for sale. Um, for the past five to eight years, we really had not developed this project or these rotors anymore. Um, we've seen other attempts at these types of rotors being done, and uh, we've even helped some of those people in their designs, but to my knowledge, nobody's actually got these running or at least into a production form yet. But I think the concept is very viable. From what we saw, uh, this would potentially work and potentially had long-term usability, although we never got to that type of testing with these. Uh, like I said, we moved on to a titanium casting, which I'll show in a, in a later video. Um, but if you're interested in these, if you want to know more about these, hop online, do some research. Don't just call up Mazda Tricks, clog up the phone lines. They don't really want to talk about them. This is the information we have. We took OEM rotors, we cut them apart, 
we machined at close tolerance for specific fitment, metal inserts, aluminum inserts to be specific. Um, and like I said, that allowed us to drop the weight um, significantly and keep some of the really hard to replace or design yourself aspects. Uh, side seal tolerances corner to apex seal to side seal and obviously the rotor gear which is not available separately so in the aftermarket application world you're either taking apart an OEM rotor to get a gear or designing one from scratch which I think has been one of the difficult factors to making aftermarket rotors if you think about it comparatively speaking to pistons um, a piston does not have a OEM specific part that's not available connected to it. And that's what we've ran into with rotors. So if anybody out there is making rotor gear successfully, that would probably open up the door a little more to aftermarket rotors. But I'm really happy to see companies uh, like Mazda Tricks, like Billet Inc. Uh, there's other companies out there working on aluminum rotors, uh, multi-material rotors. And then like we will talk about upcoming soon the Mazda Trix titanium rotors which were these were the predecessors to kind of learning and designing what we could do um, I think some of the things we did learn is uh, it might be good to to run bolts both ways uh, locking the faces uh, in both directions but this really did seem to work out okay in our design but uh, we never got to any heavy length testing on anything like this this was just some prototypes we worked with like I said probably over 10 years ago. Um, I don't think those numbers are correct. I'll put some uh, numbers on these rotors in the bottom description of the video. I'm sorry I didn't bring a scale at this moment to show the weights, but these were prototypes, and you can see one of them's not even completely assembled, but now that I think about it, I'm sure everybody's going to ask how much they weigh. So I will put that in the description below. Um, like I said, really cool. Um, shout out to Mazda Tricks. Um, Anybody who's working on the development of things similar to this, I think you're on a good track. And uh, I was really happy to be a part of these rotors and the work that Mazda Trix did on these rotors uh, while I was one of the engine builders at Mazda Trix and uh, while I worked at Mazda Trix for around uh, 15 to 18 years. So, really happy that Dave was willing to show them off. Uh, we may or may not continue to develop these in the future, but uh, like I said, don't call, don't bother Mazda Tricks. They're not available. Uh, these were prototypes. You're welcome to comment or ask questions below. I'll do my best to answer. And obviously, if Mazda Tricks does get any of this finished at any point, you'll see about it on the internet. You'll see about it uh, on the website. Trust me, they won't keep it a secret if we, uh, we turn these into a production component. But I think at this point, uh, we're looking to see what other people do develop. Uh, we did this prototyping a long time ago, and uh, now we're happy to show it off. So thanks for watching KMR. We got the Braps. Uh, we got cool stuff. We like to talk about it. We love rotaries. Uh, big shout out to Dave, Mazda Tricks, Jeff, Keith, all the crew, John, who was there when, when these were worked on. Um, you know, couldn't couldn't run my race program without Mazda Tricks, and uh, have learned so much while working there over the years. Still work with Mazda Tricks, get all my parts from Mazda Tricks. So uh, really happy we got to show these off. There you have it. Uh, 10 year old, really early in the world of uh, rotary, rotor lightning, or uh, in this case what we see some nowadays, which is multi-piece rotors being developed, but uh, there were the original Mazda Tricks prototypes. Thank you Mazda Tricks. That's a brap. I'm going to brap on out. Two piece rotors. Everybody go get in the machine shops. Get on their 3D printers that weren't even around when we did this. Get cracking. I want to see what you can make.